Well, if it was on, I wouldn't have been dead. Lots of problems and pains and, uh, of course, intellectual loneliness. But Ali, who's had the most exciting life a dog could possibly hope for, is still enjoying it. And so is Tiny. I'm going to find that beautiful. I'm recognising now that my life's work has been wiped out. <laughs> I had produced so much material that was uh, going to be very amusing and educational for the young people and uh, enlightened people on the true value of cannabis but hey history didn't go that way what's currently being sold as cannabis is fake so help me God I think the seeds have even been switched so that people who are growing their own and using big quantities of wax or whatever are fooling themselves. That's not what we were getting into back then. A whole uh, drive to clean our human community of the corruption of the last, uh, well, <laughs> recorded history. That is not going to happen. There's not going to be a turning point. I've been staying alive. Uh, you know, a year ago I was threatened with... Uh, eviction with the dog from the lovely home we had in Toll House Court Hostel. Well, the eviction happened and we lived on the street for months. I never been in here for months. I was staying alive because they're enjoying it. <laughs> and because I wanted to somehow or other cause the turning point. There has to be a point at which we say our human community has been basically corrupt all the time. Movements have come along which have uh, caused a reduction in corruption, like the abolition of slavery and uh, all the social issues since the 1960s. <laughs> but the people in the top jobs in the council, the National Health Service, the government, the police and every other social organisation are the ones who are obstructing the improvements. For example, in Bristol we have an awful lot of empty office buildings and we're still building more because a, a boom was predicted in that area in the noughties. After the crisis, 2008, no, we're not using more and more office space. Uh, so we've got a building uh, boom attempting to happen in residential accommodation, expensive residential accommodation. The des res of the future Bristol all round the harbour in the centre. But even there, there is a pretense where scaffold sits on a building for years and only one who's actually walking around and not whizzing past in a motor car 
realizes that building work is only done a few days at a time with a small number of laborers. And then uh, a little burst of activity and then pfft, gone for many more months. So the expensive flats are sitting empty for years. So somebody's waiting, you know, to come out of the depression and the boom starts and then they're going to sell all these flats and go, hey, 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 this was an investment that paid off. If it goes that way, <laughs> it really needs to go that way, but what we've got in Bristol at the moment and probably all over the country is uh, a good future for the, for the wealthy. Yes, the future looks great. We've cleaned away all the junk from the previous centuries. No warehouses, no shipyards, no empty factories or foundries or coal mines. Gone, 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 gone. Just residential accommodation. And uh, we've got a shortage of um, tennis courts and squash courts. <laughs> we've got lots and lots of uh, eating accommodation because uh, for somebody who's struggling to make a living in this world, uh, you can uh, make dinner for 10 people every night uh, in a little restaurant with your own little recipe and that provides you with a pretty healthy living. Does this make sense? I'm saying we have to throw our hands up and say, yeah, it needs to be cleaned up. The council cannot carry on saying, no, we've got 2,800 homeless people and that's just the way things are. And they're using smack and crack, committing suicide, attacking each other, committing other crimes and leading to uh, other housing estates uh, which are not homeless people getting involved in heroin and cocaine and other nonsense. No, it has to stop. We don't want a future where a child in a poor part of town is looking at a, a life of uh, violence and crime. No. Enough. Council have not been doing a good job. Most of the improvements in Bristol in recent years have not been down to the council. Oh, I feel a wee bit more cheerful for having switched this on in and uh, recorded it. Yeah, I've done my best. If I look back, I'm just getting broken hearted. I look back at Glastonbury and I think, it's completely dismantled the new age culture, you know. Your uh, middle class hippies, your Glastonbury Festival mob, they live elsewhere around the country thinking, oh, the hippie revolution is going ahead fine. No, 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 it's dismantled. You've got goddess, you've got pagan, you've got witches. Nonsense, that's all that's left. Yeah. There's a ley line run right through where I'm standing, by the way. Mine. <laughs> That's a joke. For glass temporary hippies. Yeah. Sorry, it's not a complete masterpiece. <laughs> uh.